Ischemic heart disease is related to our lifestyle. To reverse it or cure it, we must change our lifestyle. First and foremost, when you experience chest pain, you must act accordingly. That is to say, you must calm yourself down immediately. Let's say, when you get angry with someone, take a deep breath and relax. Absolutely quit smoking. There's nothing else to say regarding cigarettes other than quit. Because smoking is a major cause of ischemic heart disease. If you have high blood pressure, you must cure it first. You can cure high blood pressure by yourself. In another episode, we talked about how you can treat high blood pressure on your own. I'll repeat it here for the benefit of those who didn't see that episode. First, if you are overweight, reduce weight. Second, exercise. Third, change your diet from a meat-based diet to a plant-based diet. Fourth, reduce your intake of salt because salt and sodium are a cause of high blood pressure. So let's do these four things. There are some people who have ischemic heart disease and also have hyperlipidemia. Hyperlipidemia is always caused by unhealthy food. Therefore, when people have hyperlipidemia, they need to change their food. The best food for reducing fat levels is plant-based whole food. I myself was diagnosed with ischemic heart disease, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. I changed my lifestyle and food, and my chest pains have gone away. Next. Patients with diabetes need to control their blood sugar levels, and their ischemic heart disease will improve. Diabetes is a disease that's caused by food. Exercise is an important part of a lifestyle when treating ischemic heart disease. Exercise for improving blood circulation and heart health is called aerobic exercise. The primary objective is to keep your body moving, jogging, brisk walking, or being active by playing sports at least five times a week. How many steps per day are considered enough for either walking or jogging? At least 10,000 steps a day are considered sufficient for doing aerobic exercise. But don't forget, the exercise is not only an aerobic exercise, but also muscle training and balancing exercise. These all should be done together. But besides exercise, what else should you do? It's stress management. Especially if you already have chest pain, Managing stress is essential because stress is the trigger to cause an acute myocardial infarction. Okay, now I think we have covered all about ischemic heart disease today. Time to say goodbye. See you in the next episode. Mega, we care.